My name is Joel, and I'm uh, the CEO and founder of Stargo. So what is Stargo? Stargo, think about Kayak, Expedia. We do optimization of pricing for the freight forwarding world, for the cargo world. Anyone knows how many shipments move every single day in the world? 50, 60 million. Do you know how many freight forwarders in the world? 300,000. Do you know how much money is spent on freight? Two trillion. So guess what? We had to do the amazing. We had to take all the 300,000 that don't talk to each other and facilitate and make something very simple for them to make quotations. And the quotations will go in seconds to the customers and the customers will make a digital decision to accept or decline the proposal. This would increase double, triple the business that they currently have. So we manage and we bring value within the uh, pricing. Pricing optimization on one leg of a shipment, there could be six to 42 legs in every single shipment. Dependent on the complexity of the shipment, we know how to manage this under any conditions and under any status of the shipment on a worldwide basis to any place, to a, a, from anywhere to anywhere. So we manage risk. The risk factor in this world is very high. Two trillion is very badly managed. Freight forwarders are acting as banks and they, at times they don't know how to manage the risk properly, so they lose quite a bit of money. And the last one is obviously time. We all want our shipment on time, so we manage this, we optimize the lane, we look at uh, the performances, and we bring value to the user. So currently, the uh, current pricing is done completely manual. They do have a very sophisticated system called Excel, and they, they manage that through phones, through a emails, and they collect all the information. One proposal can take a few hours, and thereafter, basically, they need to submit this to be a compared and assessed by the customer. And the bottom line is they don't know if they're getting the shipment or not. What we do, we actually will manage all these processes and will bring value in every single place of the process. Practically, we will get a proposal door to door, door to door in seconds. And we will manage also the risk of the money. So in the recent uh, few months, we have signed a global agreement. It's a comprehensive agreement with MasterCard. MasterCard is our partners and we'll, through their network, we'll be managing the entire monetization of the freight that will be passing through our system. Uh, as well as we have signed a very large ERP system uh, globally, which does provide services to the freight and logistics industry. They do have about 8,500 freight forwarders on the system with 200, 255 million shipments that are moving through their system, amounting to $46 billion worth of freight that they're moving on the system. What does it mean, $46 billion of risk? How is it managed? So they like the idea, they went with us a long way, and in the past few months, they have signed a global agreement with us on the freight side. But then we came with a solution on the duty side. So practically every single importer in this world would be paying cash on the duty. But how do they manage these uh, uh, duty entries around the world? So this part can be classified in many ways. It can pay 5% duty or it can pay 0% duty. We will manage that automatically for them and we will manage the payment. So a shipper or a consignee, an importer or an exporter, will be paying from now their duties with a credit on the 30 days or 45 days. So that will improve their cash flow substantially. 
and the guys that knows how to manage the risk will be handling that. So we built up an enormous technology at the back end. We have an optimization engine on one end. We have an AI engine on the other end. And we manage trillions of parameters. And we manage them into a situation whereby we bring the best deal in town for that proposal. So that is done in seconds. And practically, the good news is that currently many global companies are talking to us. Uh, I can mention only one name, the others are not allowing me at this stage, but you might know a small company called FedEx. So we are currently in negotiations with them, and they, they move quite a bit of freight around the world. They see this value as an enormous value, on one end, for them to increase their business substantially, but more importantly, to manage the risk, on the other hand. So I'm sure you're not that familiar when one agent in the, the US would like to make business with an agent in Indonesia. So they don't know each other, but they do have business. So the American guy says, great, this is fantastic business. He accepted my pricing. But how will I collect my money? I'm not sure he's going to pay me. Maybe he will disappear. I don't know him. So we will manage that situation automatically. We will onboard him electronically into the banking network, and he will be getting his credit within a certain period, and he will be managing that automatically on every single transaction. So we came with that solution. At the back end, it's a very complicated system. Reason being, we are touching huge amount of data, and we need to know what to do with this data. Imagine a clock at FedEx in Minneapolis. She's a little bit lazy. She did not have a good day. And the invoice says $2,370 for the freight. Imagine that. But when she has to take all that information and put it separately into the ERP, whereby she will say, oh, pick up. That's $700. Freight, $1,000. Documentation, $100, and so on and so forth. She takes the whole amount and she puts it in the ERP. So what the accounting department will be doing with such information? They don't know if they're losing money. They don't know if they're profitable. We will be able to manage this. So we reverse engineer all this information our learning capabilities will be actually bringing all that information into the ERP, fitting it in, and basically reconciling accordingly. So this is what we're offering currently. Proposals, freight, duties. With a MasterCard, we've been able to network to 28,000 uh, banks around the world. We are able to offer these kind of services in many, many countries around the world. We are starting our, uh, well, we're launching the product in the US in May, and they will be launching it in India, China, and uh, some parts of West Europe uh, uh, as early as June. And I'm sure that if you would like to uh, get involved and see the system, you will enjoy it. Thank you so much. My time is over. Well, two minutes already. <laughs> Sorry, but we have to get going. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Thank you.